Hi everybody, Sandra Duran Wilson here and welcome to this week's Mixed Media Soul Sparks. Every week I bring you some new mixed media painting or other techniques, maybe not so new but maybe a refresher course. This week happens to be a refresher course. My first book that I wrote was on image transfers and we actually did this transfer and that's been probably a dozen years ago when we made that book. It's still a transfer that works every time and it's a packing tape transfer. Very simple, easy to do. And what you're going to need is packing tape and you're going to need an image that's a laser print or you can even use an image from a magazine. It's important that it is not going to move the ink when it gets wet. So I've got here a couple of different images and I'm going to show you how to get this tape on here. So this piece I'm just going to bring this here and let me just trim this tape off so I don't stick to the surface. And the important part on this is you want to burnish the tape down. And I'm just using a wood craft stick and I'm really rubbing. And if I don't know if you can really see the difference between like right in here where I really rubbed it and there's still kind of like some little air pockets in there. So let me rub some more and you'll be able to see the difference. This is a very important piece because you're only going to get the transfer where the ink or the toner is really sticking to the tape. Because what we're going to do is we're going to rub this paper off. So I'll take it this way and really rub it this way. Now I want to trim that off and where the tape is, I'm just going to cut this out because it's only, I don't even have to worry about did I get it exactly where the tape was because when I remove the paper, if there's no tape there, it's just going to fall apart anyway. The next step, this is where I'm going to put my glove back on is that I'm going to remove the paper from the back of this. And you want to take a look at it, a good look, and see if there are any air bubbles or any spots that you might have missed. And I'll just do another quick burnish just to be sure. And then I flip it over got a little piece of sandpaper and the only thing the sandpaper does is it just kind of scuffs up the back of the paper so that it will absorb the water faster. And then I just let this water soak into the paper and then I'm going to rub the paper off. You see how it just starts to peel off. Now if you were with me in the beginning when we did gel transfers, remember we had to wait overnight for that gel to dry. This is instant gratification. So the paper just rolls off. And that is where the tape ends. You see I just moved off of there? So there's just no tape. So what if you want to make your image larger than just one part of the tape? Well, you just overlap your tape. There's a few little things with that, but you can do it by kind of creating a slight overlap because if you don't overlap it, if it's just side by side when you rub the paper off, the two pieces will fall apart. But that can be kind of interesting too. I mean you could take the same image and you could actually start to spread it apart. Think of all the possibilities.
So do you see how it's getting opaque again? That means that there's still paper on there. So I'm going to spray a little more water. And I'm going to keep rubbing. Now you have to be careful if you put too much water, your hand's just going to keep rubbing and you may even rub off all the, the ink. So there's a fine line between the two. I'm just going to get a piece of paper towel here to kind of help grab that paper. And wherever there was white, that's where the paper has been removed. So now, if I put this on here, I can see the back part. I can see the color in the back coming through. I could probably still get off some more, some more paper. So let me just get my hand and just get my hand a little wet and see if I can remove some of that. Now, here's the other thing is I can take this and cut it because I wanted to cut, cut that where just the tape was, cut that off. And I can cut it into sections. I don't have to keep it this size. I could cut off this piece. I could cut off a piece here. I could cut it in to, um, to more of a shape. Let's see, let's do this one. Yeah, I'll go that way. So now I've got this. I can fit that in with my design. And I'm just going to use some polymer or some gloss medium to glue that down. I could bring it up into here. I can change things around. And here's a tip that I discovered in um, doing these in that first book, is that I used the gel to put this on. I used a gel or I used a gloss medium. And then after some time, I mean, it was like maybe a couple of weeks, I was actually able to go in and peel the tape off and the image stayed on there. Because you might go, well, I don't like the plastic part of the tape. I don't like how that looks. And that's the trick, is that you can use that time. Just after it's dried on there for a while, just kind of pick on the corner of it and see if you can actually peel the tape. But give it a good week so it kind of consolidates with that background. And you should be able to get that tape off and it'll be an instant transfer. Like I said, you can do these with uh, magazine images. You know, play around with these parts. You can hang on to these and you might find you can use them in something else. So you don't have to use it right away. So packing tape transfers. Again, if you want to do a piece that's wider than your, your tape, that's where you just overlap it slightly. So don't be concerned because then when you peel the tape off, you're not going to see that ridge left from the tape. So thanks for joining me this week. And if you like what you're seeing, perhaps there's an online class you might want to take. Check out the website. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Post some of your artwork in the Awakening Your Creative Soul Facebook page, and I'll see you next week. Join the community and share your creations on social. Use the hashtag Mixed Media Soul Sparks. I look forward to seeing your comments in the comment section.